sorry y'all like you know when like you ever put on a wig or whatever and you get all these flyaways in your face and they just be like trying to attack you like get the fuck up my face <laughs> What's up guys? This is your girl Shani and I'm here to give you guys a the video is basically just a showcase of how to customize a wig. Whether it be $300, $400 or $30 or $40, this is a great way for you to just customize your wig and make it look like it could be those expensive wigs on all those amazing sites. But um, so far so good guys. I'm loving this and yes y'all like did not do this. Didn't I do the slayage? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It. Yes, I did. It. Anywho, y'all can get to the video. I'm done talking. Just tune in how to customize your own wig. So these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a mannequin head stand or a foam head. You're going to need a small pair of scissors, some tweezers, a brush, and of course the wig of your choice. Now, as the picture shows you right here, this is how the wig looked when it was in the package. And this is the makeup of the wig. It's primarily on a side part, but you can push it to a middle part if you would like to. So as I'm taking out the wig out the package, I got a little bit happy and antsy and I ended up cutting the lace already. But the one thing you want to remember is when you're cutting off the lace off your lace front, you want to cut as close to the hairline as possible because you want your lace to lay on your actual hair line. Note that. Now it's time to take up your tweezers and start to pluck out that part. You want that part to look really nice and natural. You don't want it to look too choppy and you definitely don't want it to look too big. So definitely be careful. And as you're tweezing, make sure you use that brush to brush away the flyaways and the hair that you already have plucked. So now I'm pretty much just placing my wig on my mannequin head just to kind of show the full effect. And this is how it's supposed to appear on your head, guys. It's supposed to look very, very natural, very effortless, very sleek and flat. I mean, look at it. It looks like it could be the mannequin's head. And so that's pretty much all. It's simple as that. So right now I'm about to pretty much show you how I put on my wig. So I applied my stocking cap on and I'm just having these day old braids that I've had in my head and I'm basically taking my edge control by cream of nature and I'm defining my part. I want to make sure when I lay my lace on my actual hairline part that it lays completely flat and it doesn't look all crazy and the edge is just looking out of control. So now pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I'm grabbing my wig and I'm going to be adjusting the straps in the back. Yes guys, this wig has straps. So you want to make sure that you address the straps to the form of your head so it fits nice and snug onto your head so you ain't got to worry about it possibly falling off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> As I'm putting on my wig, I'm pretty much trying to make sure I line up my lace parting with my actual hair part that I have in my head already. Because of course, it's a very essential that you make the part look as natural as possible. So keep kind of adjusting until you figure out that you got it in the right proper spot. And once you got it pretty much there, I mean, hey, it's starting to look as natural as it can possibly be. Now you can keep a little bit of your hairs out if you would like to, and you can just slick them up with some edge control, or you can actually just slick it right into your wig and you don't even have to worry about it. Just make sure that the part lays on your actual hair parting.
sure that you want your wig to be nice and snug and fit, add some bobby pins. I mean, hey, it's the great way to feel that your wig will be on your head securely and tightly. Now using the trick of the trade, y'all, this is just a simple task. I'm taking my actual face concealer, a small concealer brush, and I'm gonna be using that and blending my hairline and the lace together with just my finger, and that's it. That's all. This is going to give me the realistic look that this is my actual scalp. And as you see me dabbing this concealer onto the lace, you can see the flawlessness of the wig coming through. And that is all guys. This is how you customize your lace front wigs. This was so easy, so effortless, and trust me, it'll definitely set you apart from everybody else. Now you could go more customizable by sitting here putting some layers into wig, cutting a nice side bang, whatever floats your boat. Make the wig yours. Now I decided to keep it nice and sleek because it just didn't feel like cutting it up. I just wanted to leave it nice and beautiful and classy. Oh, and did I mention that this wig was only $60? Yes, y'all. I just made a $60 wig look like a $400 wig in just about 10 minutes. So, Again, guys, this is just the wig that I got from Janet Collection Hair. Really amazing, nice wig. It is about 22 inches. That's what the lady had said in the store. And apparently it is um, a blend. So you can have up to 360 degrees. Um, so you can put heat to this. Um, I would suggest just to put like 300 on it because you ain't got time for it to fry and die. And um, <laughs> it looks so nice. This has more of a yakky texture, so it's not silky at all. So I definitely think it's great for the girls who kind of are like natural like me and then also kind of relax as well too. So it works for both girls. But um, so far so good, guys. I'm loving this. So I'm done talking and I'll talk to you guys on another video.